A library-like Moment.js is great if you need sophisticated date formatting. But many times you can accomplish date formatting with vanilla JavaScript, and it doesn't involve using multiple date object methods. Welcome to another tutorial from All Things JavaScript, where we help bridge the gap between novice and expert. To be notified about new tutorials, make sure to click that bell button and subscribe. Also, check out the discount links to all my courses that I've included in the description of this tutorial. Now, the date object provides several commands that will perform default date formatting. And a couple of these commands even allow you to specify how you want the date formatted. This would allow you to format the date without attaching a library to your code. Let's take a look at what is possible. So here I've created a date, the current date of when I'm recording this tutorial. And what I want to do first is just log to the console this date using three different commands to format it. Three different commands that are available as a part of the date object. So first off, let's log the date to the console with to date string. That's the first one I want to look at. Second one is to local date string like that these are all methods on the date object and then the third one and this is my favorite this is what we'll spend most of the time on is this one to local string all right let's just look at the differences between those two date string to local date string and to local string Open the console, and you can see they all format the date in a specific way. To date string basically formats the date and also gives you the day of the week. To local string and to local date string, one includes the time, the other one does not. Now, I prefer these two. And the reason I prefer these two is you can modify how the date is formatted. This one, you don't have the same ability to modify how the date displays. All right. Now, the only difference between these two is one displays a time and one doesn't. I prefer to use the one that displays the time because in the formatting specifications that I can pass in, I can determine at that point whether I want the time display or not. And so in the end, two local string is the one I would always use. So let's look at how we can specify how the date is formatted. So what I want to do is just copy that. I'm going to have two lines. One line is going to show its default behavior, and then the other line will show what I'm able to modify. Now, to local string allows two parameters. One is the locale, and this is a can be a string language tag that specifies how things are displayed with the date. And the other is an object that have options for how the date and time should display. So let me first you do the locale. So for example, in the US I would do a locale tag like this. Now as I refresh this, we're not going to see a difference in how that's displayed. That really doesn't affect it because the date is currently displaying using my locale because of how this is implemented. However, if I change this to Great Britain, in the US we display the month first. However, in other parts of the world, many times the day is displayed first. And so when I switch it to Great Britain, you can see that it changes how that is displayed. Now, that is the locale setting. The second parameter is an object. If we don't want to pass this in, we just can pass in undefined. But the second parameter is an object. So I'm going to set up an object here. I'm going to put this on separate lines so you can see it easier. And what I'm going to do is specify how I want 
the date displayed. And because I'm just specifying the date, it won't display the time. So the year, I want to be numeric. In just a bit, I'll go through the different options that are available here. For the month, I want it to be long, meaning it spells it out. Numeric for the year means four digit year. For the day, I want that also to be numeric. Basically, that displays the number of the day. And then finally, I can do a weekday option as well. In this case, I want it to be long, meaning it's going to display what day of the week it is. Now, notice I still have the locale here. So let's go ahead and see what this displays. Here's what we were getting before. Now, I refresh. We can see how it completely changes the way that data is formatted. Now, really quick, let me just change the locale here. Back to US. And now you can see the month comes before that. Here is the default display settings. This is what we've changed it to. Notice we are no longer displaying a time because I only specified that I wanted to display a date. That's all that I'm defining here. Now let's look at some of the other things we can define in order to specify how we want the date formatted. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy in more information for this object. The reason I'm doing that is because I've included comments that indicate the other options that you can use for each of these specifications. That way you can use this to see what's possible if you choose to. So for year, month, day, and weekday, I'm still using what I used before. However, you can now see what's possible. I could use, do a two-digit year. For month, I have lots of options. I can do numeric, two-digit, long, a shortened version. So instead of spelling it all out, it's just a shortened version, and then narrow, which is basically just the first letter of the month. Day, I have a two-digit option. And weekday, I have a short or a narrow. Narrow, once again, doing like the month. It'll just give the first letter. A shortened version doesn't spell it all the way out. And now for the time, I can do numeric or two-digit. Numeric or two-digit for the minute. Numeric or two-digit for the second. Basically, the difference between numeric and two-digit two is that two-digit forces there to be at least two numbers there. So if we're displaying a 1, it will display 0, 1 instead of just 1. And then finally, I can specify the time zone as well. I can spell that out. Or the shortened version will do the GMT plus or minus whatever for the particular time zone. All right, let's see what this is giving us. I'm going to save that. We'll jump out. There we have everything spelled out. Notice how the time zone is spelled out. I'm in mountain daylight time. Now let's make one more change just so you can see some different options. And then this is something you can play around with on your own. I'm going to change that to two digit. I'm going to change all of the times to two digit. Let's go short on the time zone. For the month, let's do two digit as well. And for the day, let's do two digit. Weekday, I'm still going to use long. And there you can see what it's done to the date and to the time. And it looks like the time zone displayed shortened version of Mountain Daylight Time instead of GMT. I thought it would do the GMT. So there we go. Different ways to format the date. And this is all done with vanilla JavaScript, so we haven't had to attach a library. Now, before we're done here, please hit that like button. And remember, I've provided discount links to all my courses in the description section. If you would like to become a patron of this channel, there are additional benefits to certain levels. You can follow a link in the description for that. 
You can also contribute by visiting my website. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit that button or click the circle link on the left, the one with my face. Also click the bell button to be notified about new releases. I release a new tutorial each week. You can click the video link in the center to access another tutorial right away or click the link on the right to visit my website allthingsjavascript.com for a complete list of tutorials and courses. Thanks for watching.